I've got another small little project I need to tackle uh, on my C10 here. Uh, I have air trapped in my cooling system. And you can see that based on this upper radiator hose here, how it's kind of uh, collapsed and shrunk here in the center. And basically what happens is, as the engine temperature cools down, the water temperature and the little bit of air that's in there, as it cools, it, it shrinks. Basically creating a small vacuum in there. And basically, the, and the reason that it's got air in the system is because this upper radiator hose is higher than the fill port on the radiator. So I cannot get all the air out of there just by filling up uh, the radiator uh, with coolant. So what I have to fix it is a couple of uh, these little pieces. These are inch and three quarter diameter uh, exhaust tubing. Now I got these from a friend of mine. Uh, you may have seen my other videos where we uh, chopped his uh, 1999 Harley Sportster and we did an exhaust kit and this is one piece that was left over. This is a piece from the exhaust that was on the bike when he bought it. So I'm going to use these to make a hard line going from the water neck on the engine over here to the upper radiator uh, inlet. And so basically what I'm it's going to be lower and I'm going to try and keep it as low as I can. I, it's going to be tight but uh, I should be able to get it lower uh, than the fill cap on the radiator so I shouldn't have any water issues. So uh, let me get started on this project and uh, I'll keep filming along the way. So with the rubber radiator hose out of the way, it looks like this could be just a straight shot from the water neck to the radiator itself. But if I set that in place, it's hooked on the water neck here and it's not hooked over here at the radiator. It's actually resting on the pulley for the power steering pump. So this situation really isn't going to work for me. I could flatten this tube and, and gain some clearance there, but I'm, I'm just afraid that it's not going to be enough. So what it looks like I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to route this behind the reservoir, the power steering reservoir, go back behind it, and then curve in with this piece right here. Now granted, I'm only going to use this piece of bend from here to there. I got to cut all, all of this off of here. So it's effectively going to go around the back, make a bend, and then it'll be pretty much a straight shot over here uh, to the radiator. Uh, and I am going to use that rubber radiator hose that I just took off to make uh, connections between the water neck and the steel tube and then the steel tube and the radiator here. So it uh, looks like I'm going to have to do some cutting. It, you know, Like I said, it looked like it may have been a no-weld project, but uh, I doubt that's going to be the case. I'm also probably going to add in a tab that goes from the tube right here down to this little bolt on the back of the uh, power steering pump just to add some support uh, for the steel tubing. So I had to cut a significant chunk of the leg off of this piece of tubing, so I think what I'm going to do is actually utilize that and weld it to the other end of this bend, and then my rubber hose 
uh, won't have to be so long. So I'm pretty happy with the way this is setting up right now. So I'll just tack weld this on there and get another test fit and uh, keep going from there. So I've got a good fit here. Now, when this is hot, when the tubing gets hot, it's gonna have a tendency to wanna drop down a little bit like that. So what I'm gonna do, utilizing this bolt uh, here on the back of the water pump, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, power steering pump bracket, I'm just gonna make a little plate that goes up, maybe curves around a little bit, put a little plug weld in there. Just something to support this tube out here at its furthest uh, point away. It, it, that's where it's gonna have the most wobble to it so uh, I'll make that but other than that uh, this is pretty much uh, the fabrication is pretty much finished all I really need to do here is uh, weld up my two joints and uh, and I'll show you what I'm going to do as far as uh, making sure that uh, these uh, connections right here uh, are going to be watertight under pressure.